Hi folks, Chris Kittleson. I want to talk to you today about some custom turkey calls uh, made by Holland Custom Calls. First of which is a slate call with a walnut pot. Breaks over nice. It has a little higher pitch. Not a lot of rasp, but I like the way it breaks over. And I like the fact that you can get really soft with it and you can make soft feeding purrs with it. Soft clucks. Tree out. But I really like slate. One of the best friction surfaces, I think, uh, for making a lot of versatile sounds. You can get loud with it if you want. And then back down. Real quiet. Very versatile, very versatile call. And I think if I was going to limit myself to one turkey call in the woods that was a friction call, it would be slate because, like I said, it's so versatile. And this striker sounds extremely nice on it. But now let's listen to what an Osage orange striker will sound like on it. A little bit clearer, not quite as, as pitchy. Get a little key key with it. Sounds real nice too. Now if you're in wet weather, uh, I wouldn't recommend you running a, a wood pot in wet weather. But the uh, slate, I mean, you can, you can get slates in just about any pot. And uh, Hall of Custom Calls actually makes a Wilson Art pot, which is actually uh, a, a laminate material that they make countertops out of. And this would be a perfect waterproof pot. Uh, this one happens to be glass, but I'm sure if you, if you talk to him, uh, he would make you a, a slate uh, with Wilson Art also. That would be a perfect waterproof call, but let's see what the uh, carbon trip tip striker sounds like on the slate. Nice rasp. Real nice rasp. Sounds like an old boss hen. Hit that and oh, that gobbler goes off. The next call I want to talk about is the Wilson Art Call. Like I said, it's a, it's a glass friction surface. Good call for uh, cutting through the wind. Got a lot, of, a lot of high pitched noise. That high frequency a lot of times is what's going to get that gobbler to sound off to you. Um, let's try with the Osage Orange and just see what that sounds like. A little bit lower, uh, definitely a different sound, different hen here. Now let's see what it sounds like with the carbon striker. Like I said, generally a, a carbon or uh, something of a, man, or of a uh, composite is going to sound better on glass to me anyways, and it's going to run better. But let's see what this sounds like. Real nice rasp, real nice volume. Get a little purr with it. Uh, purring out of glass is a little bit tough because the sur I mean, like I said, you got to get that surface really rough. But uh, I like this one for uh, rasp and volume. It's And it has that high pitch before it rolls over into that rasp, which, like I said, it really it hits that gobbler in the eardrum and just makes him want to hammer back at that call. That's a real nice call, and like I said, waterproof. Don't have to worry about that call warping if it gets wet. 
glass surface is pretty much indestructible as long as you don't sit on it or drop it. Uh, real nice sounding call. I like that call. Versatile, very versatile. Uh, now we've got a uh, wood pot with a glass surface. And we'll see what that one sounds like. It's got a little rasp to it, especially with the Asagi Orange uh, Striker. I like the way that that finishes off with that rasp. That, that really sounds nice. Uh, sounds like an old boss hen. Let's see what the uh, Cherrywood Striker sounds like on it. Yell. Carbon striker. There's your volume striker right there. That's where you're going to get if you want to reach out and touch them. Let's say real windy day, 10:30 in the morning, nothing gobbling for at least the last hour or so. So now you're out cruising. You're walking. Uh, just inside the woods on a ridge line, uh, looking for gobblers that are going to be down on strut zones or maybe just inside the wood line on the edge of a field looking for gobblers that are out feeding in the field or strutting out in the field. And, uh, and it's windy, you're not hearing a whole lot. Or you can't hear a whole lot because of the wind and that gobbler can't necessarily hear you very well either. What you're going to do is start off listening, do you hear anything? Don't hear a gobbler. Okay. I'm going to wait maybe 45 seconds. Don't hear anything. Cut the wind. Now, oh, he just sounded off down 250 yards on the edge of that field. Now I know where he's at. I'm not going to call to him anymore. I'm just going to sit and wait now for about two minutes. If he hammers again, I'm going to scoot around and uh, try and cut the distance in half. If he doesn't gobble again, I'm going to scoot around and try and get almost right on top of him, especially if he's out in the edge of a field uh, and I've got good cover that I can sneak around on him. But this is a, a good call, too, for cutting the wind and making a lot of noise. So the last call I've got here I'm going to show you today is uh, kind of a dense wood. Um, and it's a, a bead blasted glass surface so you don't ever have to rough it up but uh, because of the dense pot it's a little bit softer call but we're gonna run it with the carbon first and see what that does got some good rasp to that one as well we'll try with the wood the wood strikers on this one Don't sound too bad. I mean, for a glass call with wood on glass, you get some good volume out of it. Because of that bead blasted surface, because it's, it's roughed up, the whole surface is roughed up, and uh, it's uh, you know almost like it's impregnated in there. Like, you, you should never really have to rough this call up. It should always stay abrasive. I'll try the Osagi Orange on it and see what that one does. A little raspier yet. See, I've got now, basically I've got three hens in my hand right here. I've got four calls going in my turkey vest, and uh, that means I've got 12 hens at my disposal any time of the day. So again, Just that's Holland the Custom the Calls, www.hollandcustomcalls.com, and uh, he makes a really nice sounding call, and uh, he's a newer call maker, and I think you should all give him a try. Uh, check him out on the web. Check me out on the web at www.pronghornproduction.com and uh, we'll talk to you later.